focus on. I have, I have good people around me, you know, good, good dudes around me that, that are very smart and they, and they, poof, I mean, I have one friend that he doesn't go anywhere, nowhere. All he does is work. That is it. So when you have that kind of influence, you know, that kind of helps keep you on a, on a straight path as well, because in the back of your head, you're thinking my friend's not doing this, you know, so why can I do it? So I, I think you got to have good people around you. And, and as I've, I've done a couple of these podcasts already and, I, and I, as I've gotten older and people ask me what I think is, you know, what contributes to success and stuff like that, my views have adapted and have changed recently. And now I think it's all about who you know. That's really the key to any, any successful business or career or relationship. It's the, it's the people in your life. That's what makes the difference. So let's, let's unpack that for a second. Um, they, they, they say, I think Tony, I don't know if Tony Robbins said or someone else said it, you are the average of the five people you hang out with, okay. right? I remember my, my, my mentor told me, listen, if you want to, if you hang out with painters, you get paint on you. You know what I mean? It's a good analogy. I, so I agree yeah. with you on that, right? Yeah. So now with you, to your point, that's one part of it, right? People surround you with good. But the other part is saying to, uh, to be successful, what do you mean? To, are you, are you're saying how people should have networking and connections with people? I think that there is, it, it, you know, because I, I go a good example that I, that I say when I, when I talk about that is I say LeBron James' agent was his best friend in high school, right? It's some story like that. I don't know too much about the yeah. guys, but I know it's something like that. Like they were friends from high school and he became LeBron's agent and the guy's a multimillionaire. Why? He didn't work his way up the ladder. He was just friends with LeBron James. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So that, that was his key to success. And nothing else mattered, you know? Nothing else matters. It doesn't matter. I don't know what time that guy wakes up in the morning. Probably nobody knows. Nobody cares. It doesn't make a difference. The fact that he's best friends with LeBron and he's his agent, he's a multimillionaire, successful agent in the NBA strictly from that relationship. So if yeah. you have a LeBron James in your life, you know, you're, you're 10 steps ahead. And we all don't have LeBron James, obviously. So we got to stay close to the LeBron Jameses of our lives. Of our time, of our story. Yeah, you opened a company time. recently. The, the, they, the media yeah, they company. A ton of stuff. They got oh, they, they pizza, the shoes, like apparel. I mean, these guys got all the, they got a lot of stuff going yeah, on. Yeah. But he got it from being best friends with LeBron. He didn't, he wasn't born in another city and found a way to get close no. to LeBron. No, they were by birth. You know, yeah. but the best friend has to bet on his friend. Yeah. And he had to take the chance on his best friend to become a, you know, of course. No, and they, had that, they had that plan, and I'm sure the guy's sharp. And they're like I said, they're boys, and they. I feel like LeBron has definitely changed the game, you know, uh, in a lot of ways, especially with as much control as he had over the teams that he was on and everything because of how good he was, you know. So they had a lot of good opportunities, but the, it happened because they were. They they knew each other, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So it didn't happen because he worked his way up. Because I would, you know, you hear a lot of people say, "Oh, you gotta, you know, you, you work hard and blah blah blah." You can work your ass off. Yeah, 